What shall we do with chronic inflammation and why, why is it, uh, why chronic inflammation is at the core of all diseases? There is a kind of transformation in the thinking about chronic degenerative disease. In the past, the cardiologists who were deep in their specialist subject didn't necessarily talk very much to the oncologists or to the osteo people or the psychogeriatricians. They each had their own discipline, they each were fooling around with their own little symptomatic treatments, you know, the, which is the best the pharmaceutical industry has to offer. And what has begun to emerge is that actually these things are not so separate. It's, look, it's like looking at a chain of islands on the surface of the ocean. Under the water they all join up, there's a mountain range, and it's being manifested in different ways. It looks very much as if it is chronic inflammation uh, that is driving all of these different conditions, that drives coronary artery disease, cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular disease, the cancers, uh, Alzheimer's, the dementias in general, Parkinsonism. Chronic inflammation is at the core of all of these. And it, if it is occurring in the bloodstream and the linings of your arteries, it will manifest itself as coronary artery disease, artery disease and hypertension. If it's manifesting itself, if, it's, if it is taking place inside bone or joint, it will eventually clinically surface as osteoporosis or osteoarthritis. And this is a very interesting way of thinking about disease, of course, because it suggests that if we can address the core issue of chronic inflammation, we can reduce the burden of chronic degenerative disease right across the board. Now that seems far-fetched. Far we actually do know of a, of a, a very large database based in 19th century, where we had a population that was eating a diet that, unlike today's diet, which is pro-inflammatory, the 19th century diet, very anti-inflammatory. And when we look at the health records and the medical records, we see that um, from the age of five, they had a life expectancy, which was as good as, and in some cases better than ours, and they had very little degenerative disease, very little chronic degenerative disease. So their rates of coronary artery disease and um, uh, cancers, for example, are about 10% of what we see today in a population that reached the same age. So if you can put out these flyers, which is what chronic inflammation actually is, a long, drawn-out, insidious erosion, destruction of tissue in different places, put out the fires by creating an anti-inflammatory environment in the body, and you dramatically reduce the risk of really all of the major healthcare problems of today.